Hey everybody, how's it going? So this video is going to be about rebuilding this engine. Um, this is a 235 horsepower, 24 valve Cummins, and uh, my 2001 Dually um, in the towing videos and everything. It's it's got a cracked 53 block. The 53 block was you know common to crack. Um, it made it almost 250,000 miles, so. Um, you know, it made it made it a pretty good ways, but <clears throat> I, I hoped it would not happen, but it did. So, not a lot we can do about it, but try to fix it. So, uh, some people have welded the blocks with some success, and there's always the lock and stitch method. I've not heard a lot of success stories on lock and stitch, and uh, ultimately, I think a lot of these blocks are, you know, too weak to handle welding and, and actually last. Um, apparently there's varying degrees of thickness on the 53 blocks. So anyway, what I got here behind me is a 56 block. I bought it used. The guy bought it to, uh, I think he was gonna put it in a truck he had, but he had a baby on the way and kind of ran out of time and I guess money and motivation for some of his projects. So. This engine was supposed to be out of a wrecked 24 valve truck, uh, 2001, <clears throat> same as mine. And uh, so it was supposed to be a good running engine. And so assuming everything inside is good, um, my plan is probably to re-bearing it, uh, probably put an oil pump in it, head gasket, have the head gone through, just freshen it up, make sure it's all good and uh, should go another, you know, 300,000 miles in my truck. So that's the plan. I'm getting ready to get started on it and I'm gonna turn you around and talk a little more. So first of all, this engine stand, my dad built that and uh, he kind of built it for me to use for this uh, project here. Um, he's got a couple things he's probably gonna use it for, but uh, I was going to probably just, you know, pick up a used one on Marketplace or something, but uh, he built this out of stuff that he had laying around. <clears throat> it's got some heavy caster wheels on it and a pretty heavy frame, and uh, it's got a worm drive gearbox with a sprocket on it, and it's got another sprocket connected to the shaft that feeds through to the to the actual engine mounting uh, spot. So basically, um, you're able to roll the engine. Uh, you can use a ratchet and socket or a impact or, or whatever. Uh, it's a three quarter inch uh, nut welded to this shaft. And you can just turn it over with that. It's got three little locks right here. You just tighten these bolts up and that cinches down on the shaft so that the engine can't spin when you're not wanting it to and uh i've not spun the engine yet it still has oil in it and uh, but i don't i don't see any problems with it i think it should work fine i really appreciate him building it so anyway <clears throat> here's the engine it's a pretty greasy old engine but it's a 56 block right there it is and for anyone it doesn't know you know if you get under the truck your injection pump goes here you know and comes back and then you've got your uh, power steering and vacuum pump here right underneath that <clears throat> at the front of the block right above this bottom ridge you will find your number some of them have just some small numbers they don't have a bigger cast number i don't think any of those blocks are a problem most of the 53s will have 53 cast right here so it's mostly what you're looking for not all 53s crack some people get by with them for a long time but uh so you know it's not necessarily a death warrant but um after my experience i would just as soon not have another 53 block so this is 56 there shouldn't be any uh problems with it cracking i've got to get the heat exchanger for the 
automatic off of it, the AC compressor, <clears throat> some of the accessories, fan, and uh, <clears throat> probably get all that off of it and then, then uh, pressure wash it. And then I hope to start the disassembly pretty soon. I'll get the head off first and we'll go from there. So I'm hoping the seller was correct in that the guy that sold it to him was, you know, was honest and, and that it did, it was a running engine, uh, then a truck that got ripped. Um, if all the hard parts inside and the cylinder walls and everything are good, it should make for a pretty straightforward uh, rebuild. So probably not going to do anything real high performance or anything on it. Um, I'm not trying to hot rod that truck too much. I just uh, want it to be reliable and be able to pull trailers and not smoky and all that stuff. So uh, I will try to update as I get some things done on this engine. And so if you're interested, just check back. I'll probably have a couple other projects going on too. Um, I have a set of injectors for my old tractor. Um, well, actually they're injector tips and I'll be I'm going to pop test the injectors. I'm going to pull the injectors and pop test them. And then I'll swap the new injector tips on and uh, set the pop pressure on them and reinstall them. And I'm thinking that'll help that tractor start a lot better and, and should clean it up as far as the smoke when it's running and hopefully take some of the mist out of it. <clears throat> so stick around if you're interested and We'll try to get the dually back on the road so we can make some more towing videos. So anyway, thanks for watching and we'll talk to y'all later.